Alright, I've inserted the CD and opened up iTunes. And then the first thing we're going to do is we are going to look at the import settings, change it to AAC encoder, and the default setting, spoken podcast. Hit OK and import CD. Now it will run for a few minutes. Okay, next we are going to select the tracks. Go to Advanced, Join CD Tracks, and then hit Import CD. This will take a few more minutes. Okay, so now the tracks have been joined into one single file. Um, I'm going to go to Import Settings and we're going to change it to mp3 so we can convert this uh, CD uh, into an mp3 file format and I've set up the, the settings how I like them um, the, the CD that I'm burning is about I don't know 45 minutes or so of spoken of, of a speech and um, this will these settings will produce a file that's a little more than 20 megabytes. Hit OK. Hit OK here. And then just hit Import CD. And since we've already joined the tracks together for um, the AAC Spoken Podcast, um, which is a M4A file, it will. Uh, we just have to change the import settings and it'll automatically join the tracks into a different file format. This will take a few minutes. Alright, next I use a program called FreeRip. And so go ahead and um, go to File, Settings, Options, and make sure it's configured to the, uh, the device that you have the CD in, in this case it is and go to output and set your default encoding to WMA output encoding um, go down, see there's different file formats that you can set up, WAV, MP3, etc. go down to WMA encoding and set it to uh, 28 kilobytes per second in stereo hit OK and then go to RIP, multi-track ripping. This will convert the 11 file, 11 uh, CD tracks into a single file. And should be good to go. It'll take a few more minutes. All right, next I've opened up a program called MP3 Tag. Notice that uh, I've got all three of my files in the same folder. You can uh, locate your files by clicking on the Change Directory button here and choosing the directory where you've located the files. So that's already done. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and fill up the MP3 tags. Copy one from last week. Start with that. It's a template. So it's the Gospel of Mark. Under comments, I put mark one through six. Jesus goes to Nazareth. All right, go ahead and 
save that. So I had selected all three of them, so I built the tags for all three of them at one time. So they're all the same. So notice the file format that we use. It's the year, followed by the month, and the day. Capital letter of the series, in this case, Mark. All right, so I've opened up a program called FileZilla. Over here are the, the files that I want to move to the web server. And on this side, I have uh, went to the folder location where I want to drop the files. So it's public HTML, FBC sermons online. Pull these over, drag them in. Uh, and then I'm currently scanning the notes. Uh, here are the notes from last week, but you can see the file uh, format that we used, 2011. Um, so the year, the month, the day, and then all lowercase letters, notes. It's as simple as that. So um, you can see that the first file that we're downloading is almost 25% complete. Once the once uh, the files are 100% are, uh, complete, uh, then just take a look at the file size and make sure that the file size over here matches the file size that we have over here. That should be it. So we have uh, successfully converted files from a CD, uh, multiple files on a CD, uh, to one file uh, for each of three formats uh, for uh, others to download from the website.